Dr. Kondriwala, good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. We are very privileged to have you. Thank you. Uh, you worked a lot uh, in uh, different developing countries. You uh, witnessed them during the tough times. Mm -hmm. You helped to lead these countries through the crisis, not only the recent one, mm -hmm. but also East Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s. Mm -hmm. In this regard, how do you assess Kazakhstan's response to the global economic and financial crisis? I think that Kazakhstan responded very well uh, with the right instruments. And I, I really want to uh, commend the government for the way uh, it, it has managed uh, the crisis. Uh, first, putting in place the fiscal stimulus uh, was a good thing. Uh, trying to cushion the impact of the crisis on the poor uh, was also a very good thing. And uh, finally, the way that uh, the banking and financial crisis was managed was a very good balancing act. Uh, I know that there are still issues with non-performing loans that have to be cleaned out from the banking system, but I think the government made a good start in you know, making sure that there was an equal sharing of the burden in terms of the MPLs. And now the next stage is to uh, finally deal with them. Modernization and diversification of Kazakhstan's economy is uh, the top priority on government's agenda today. In this regard, how do you, how do you assess Kazakhstan's efforts to diversify its economy? Well, first of all, I think that uh, the Prime Minister and the President um, have a good strategy going forward. They've all obviously looked carefully at the problem. Uh, as uh, the Prime Minister, uh, as we discussed earlier, he had commissioned the OECD also to give input the world bank to assist and the areas in which you're looking for diversification in agriculture and agribusiness and agro processing in petrochemicals linked to your oil and gas industry uh, probably in in, in services in, in telecommunications and so on these are all very good things i think those are the areas that kazakhstan has some comparative advantage and the sources of growth will come from these areas so it's a good effort. I think you actually need to move now to specifically uh, start I to implement the strategy of diversifying into those areas. And again, I want to say that I find the uh, way that education and skills is being looked at in order to feed into the diversification. I think that's a good thing. You know, um, you know, Kazakhstan, like any oil-rich uh, country, you know, with 70% of revenues coming from oil. Uh, um, uh, you need to look quickly at how you can, uh, you know, create jobs because the mineral sector, the oil sector, doesn't create too many jobs. So I think that the government is on the right path. Talking about the oil-rich countries, uh, you have a huge experience in working in oil-producing countries. Uh, you worked in Nigeria, you worked in the countries of the Middle East. Uh, in this regard, can I ask you a question? Does Kazakhstan's economic model differ from those countries? Well, um, does the economic model uh, differ? I mean, Kazakhstan has the characteristics of many oil-rich countries. What, what are those characteristics? I think that more and more, you know, there's a concentration of the economy, uh, you know, based on oil. But one thing that Kazakhstan is doing, which uh, I think it's branching out in a very good way, uh, and not many oil-rich countries succeed in this, so I'm very glad to see Kazakhstan making progress, is on this issue of diversification. You have recognized the problem, you have crafted a strategy, you've studied which sectors you need to go into, and you've even uh, come up with a strategy to underpin the skills that will be needed. So I think that in that regard, Kazakhstan is making uh, a progress that will make it uh, somewhat different and hopefully more successful than other oil-rich economies that have tried to diversify. You've been consistently supporting uh, women-owned and women-influenced small and medium enterprise in Africa. Uh, in this context, uh, can I ask you how do you assess Kazakhstan's efforts uh, in relation to women in business to develop women entrepreneurship? What advice can you give to Kazakhstan? Well, first of all, let me say that this morning I was absolutely delighted to meet uh, the three, the female ministers in the cabinet and the three male MPs. Uh, you know, the Minister of uh, Labor and, uh, and I think, Social Work 
and uh, uh, the, to meet, to also be able to interact with them. And they're very, very strong uh, in terms of their professionalism. The, all the women I met uh, th this morning, it's already. And they told me so much about what Kazakhstan is, is doing to, towards gender equality. I think that you've been recognized in the World Economic Forum rankings uh, for your progress on gender equality. So I, I really want to commend that if you look at education, you know, you have uh, girls and boys, there's equity in the school system and equality. You look at health, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but again, you know, good attention. Of course, there are areas where the government has to do more. I think that now you need to move towards uh, more empowerment of women in the political sphere. You need more women ministers, I think. Uh, you have uh, more women in parliament, more women in political uh, position. And I know you have uh, uh, many of your businesses are now led by women. That's really commendable. So more of a push in that direction. Now, I understand that the government strategy is that uh, from now, I think, to 2015 or 2020, you anticipate uh, you have a target of 30 percent of women, uh, you know, in managerial positions. And you, you have a strategy to empower women even more. I strongly commend that. I see a very good beginning. And I think you should just push forward. Uh, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate that. And we wish you every success. Thank you so much. And good luck to Kazakhstan.